Oh, let that sunshine in. <laughs> so we're gonna hit the trail about 11, be about 50. Should be home by six at about 53 degrees. I think that's some nice trail riding weather for us. Mm. They're not ready yet. Uh, <laughs> and upgraded the pedal. We got some Rock Bro pedals. They're wider and they got studs on them. My dad's bike got a few changes to it. First off, went ahead, went tubeless on the back tire and I replaced it with a, a more knobby tire while I was at it, more appropriate for trail riding. Right now I'm just cleaning out his carburetor. Actually I already cleaned it but I'm finishing it off. I'm about to put it back on because the problem I was having is the engine would cut out and I looked down and there'd be gas coming out of the air filter and uh, that was caused by the float bowl not closing the valve. So here's Calvin and we're gonna start right here. We're gonna go up to Goldana right here. That's where we stopped last time. But this time we're gonna take a break, check the bikes, we're gonna eat. There's a little gas station right here. And we're gonna top off on gas. And if everything looks good, then we're gonna hit the trail another 15 miles past Chestnut up to Ashland. What is it, 25 mile one way trip and then 25 mile back. Now taking two bikes on a trail ride like this means you have twice as many chances of something going wrong, but you also have twice as many chances that there'll still be someone able to go get the truck and pick your ass up. Um, my dad cruised most of last week's trail uh, about 10 to 15 miles per hour, and this bike seemed to just love that. He did, however, on the way back, get a little carried away and uh, topped out about 20 miles an hour. And about that time, I uh, shot out in front of him just in time to tell his ass to slow down and not hit the giant crack in the middle of the road, which he hit, but not going 20, thankfully. I would have jumped over. <laughs> he would have jumped over something, that's for sure. <laughs> to help keep my dad from getting carried away, he's gonna tow the trailer. This is a two-wheel bike trailer. In hindsight, I should have got the one wheel. They're more stable, but this is what we got. So he's gonna tow a trailer with water, food, extra gas, extra parts, tools. He'll be able to take some of the weight off his back and I don't have to carry as many parts and it doesn't put the weight on the bike. It just uh, means you're towing a little extra weight, but towing weight is a lot easier than carrying yeah, weight. Oh yeah, and we're taking a drone. My FT270, it's a six inch frame and uh, she's been a good girl so far. So we're gonna take her probably two or three batteries. Pretty exciting, now that I know how not to fall down. Now somebody in the comments of my, my last video asked if I could do a video on my camera setup. Instead of going over all the equipment that I use, I'll just put parts in the description, but this is basically just a dual GoPro camera mount on a chest rig. And I'll, I'll use this with this camera primarily, but I'll also sometimes use it with a GoPro. When I have a GoPro mounted on the chest or the head, I'll always keep image stabilization turned on. But when I have a GoPro mounted on the bike, I will turn GoPro stabilization off. And the reason for this is if you're on a solid mount and you leave stabilization turned on, every time the bike moves a little bit to the left or the right, the camera frame won't actually follow the bike. It will look like the camera is kind of detached from the bike flowing with it. It's just kind of weird. Um, the image stabilization will also not get rid of engine vibration. Engine vibration will still get into the camera with stabilization turned on because that is the that's a frequency that is higher than the shutter speed and you can't get rid of that. It just turns into motion blur. Anyways, moving right along. Um, mounting cameras to the bike. You know these mounts with the 3M sticky tape. They're pretty good, but they don't stick to everything and after you peel them off once or twice, this sticky is no longer any good. You take this off, you take the sticky pad off so it's just bare plastic. Take a hot glue gun, give it one good squirt, one big old blob of hot glue right in the middle of these mounts and then stick it wherever you want on a bar, anywhere you want. Hold it there for a second and that lets the hot glue cool off. And then you wrap a bunch of Velcro straps, or, straps around it. The glue is not there to hold it to the bike. It actually doesn't provide very much adhesion. Uh, it's there to fill in the gaps and give it a stable mount, a stable base to mount to. 
Um, you doing that, you can put a camera anywhere on the bike pretty much, as long as you can get some Velcro straps around it and it's not going anywhere. So that's something I've been doing. I used it on my last trail ride right here and up under here so that I had a stable mount for my cameras. And if you watch that video, you know that they were on there pretty damn good and you didn't get a lot of vibrations and crap like that. All right, there we go. Here's one done. Didn't have to use any hot glue on this one. It was just a good spot to mount a camera. And the, uh, the weight of the seat should help to buffer out engine vibration. You got any WD-40? Not with me, no. That's fine. Alright, good deal. Yeah, I didn't spill any that time. Good job. That little tank will fill both of ours up. Okay just in case the uh, gas station's closed. Let's see if I fix that carburetor leak. What did you forget to do? What did you forget to do? Where the gas cap? It's off. Stay right here. Shit! I thought we didn't even smell it. Is there anything else going to fall off your bike I should know about before I get in front? I'm trying to be positive. I really am. We are off to one hell of a start. I'm glad they're not letting me drive the space shuttle. Alright, I'm going to give you a push start because we got a bridge coming up. Okay. And you're going to need it. Go! Fire it up!
That's a big tree. You never realize how big a tree is until you got to go around it. Oh. Damn boots. Damn jeans. Damn branches. Ah. I think gas doesn't weigh as much as water. <laughs> Damn near as much. But you're right. Oh, poor drone. Okay. <laughs> He's the whole time back there like, oh God, help me. <laughs> <laughs> the rattling you're hearing is mostly just the bucket on the middle. Yeah, I kind of figured that. At first I thought maybe a tire was coming off. <laughs> <laughs> Walk a few minutes? Yeah. I don't really need it, but it just i I'm down for a walk. Oh, you know what I brought with us? Them sausages. The sausage we cooked this morning? Yep. Let's see how this Goodyear's hold, held up. Tire yeah, pressure check. feels great. It's a Goodyear from Walmart, but they're not designed to go tubeless. You can see all the sealant sealing up the sidewalls. <laughs> look at here. There's a, there's a, oh. a treasure. Put it in the, um, Hobby room. There you go. I love stuff like that. They probably dug up so many of these it drove them mad. Pull the top of the tarp. The top of the, it'd be a lot easier. The corner, see the corner? Yeah, yeah, pull that. Uh, Why didn't you think of that? This goes in that direction uh, for quad. Well, it's got to be at least 100 miles. It's clear out like this the whole way. I chased it on Google Maps to the northern part of the station. I never found the end. You're about half a tank. Okay. Oh, you're leaking. Okay, shut the gas off. Shut the gas off. Where's it leaking? From the carburetor. 
Oh, yeah. Damn, I don't know why it keeps doing that. So uh, we stopped at this little Conoco gas station here in Goldana, and this place is a lot bigger on the inside than it looks. And we just ate the best BLTs that I've ever had in my life. One of those really neat, out of the way places that oh, always so has good food. Carburetor swap out, huh? Yeah, at least it's easy. Both of these carburetors are brand new. Both of them I got from Zeta Motorsports. Now I can't technically complain because they gave them to me for free. I don't know why. I think it was a shipping error, but uh, I emailed and messaged them about it and they didn't respond, so I guess they didn't care. They gave me some free carburetors. Hopefully they didn't just pick the bad ones and give them to me just to be funny. <laughs> Cause uh, it's not very funny. Let me turn the gas off on my bike. Now, that's Zeta 80, original carburetor. That motor and that carburetor never given me a problem. I've been riding the crap out of that bike. Some real rough stuff too. This is what might be causing it to leak. But if I put the new carburetor on and it's still leaking, then I will swap out the needle and whatever this is, barrel? I don't know, just in case. The needle is for some reason causing it to leak, and I really don't see why it would, unless maybe it was bent. Man, the BLT was good. Yeah, it sure was. All of it was good. I gave her a five dollar tip. You did? I did. Oh, when we get home, refills, Jack and Coke. Huh. Right up. Uh -huh. Very smooth. This was the first 10 miles. We have 15 more to go. Okay. You I'm up good. for it? I'm good. I just have to get used to the gravel. I don't know why it's uh, intimidating. It's just got to get used to well, it. Well, because beach cruisers don't like gravel. <laughs> All right. I'm just leave them on until the batteries die.
buddy. We're gonna have to power through some of these. <laughs> My dad's got the hardest job of all. Pedaling two hundred dollars each cruiser build. Pedaling a two hundred dollars each cruiser build. Do this. <laughs> Everything seems to be running all right. Yeah. Look down every once in a while, make sure there ain't no gas pouring yeah, out. Right. Boy, that sure is an annoying thing to deal with. <laughs> for my going to church shows. There's that bus. Remember from the guy's video? Oh yeah. Thankful that the trail has been like this most of the day. And the school bus. Very strange. Kind of want to go check it out, but kind of scared to. And look at the top of that tree, or the top of that hill, the one tree. Cool. I'm fixing to fly right here. Okay.
my lord. Oh, somebody left the light on.